Right guys, welcome back to this barn cleaning YouTube channel where all we do on this channel is clean barns every day of the week. No, 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 I'm just joking. This is the first for me, guys. Let me pull you off there. Let me pull you off there. That's not what I meant to say. So you guys may have seen, if you watched the last video, you would have seen the sneak peek to this job um, where I did a test patch, which is over there. Look at that. Perfect. Uh, so this is cleaning the inside only of the roof, the beams, the walls, the other walls, and the floor. Now, someone laughed at me in the comments on the last video and they said, pile of dung, haha, <laughs> because I mentioned there's a pile of dung. Well, there's piles of dung everywhere. Pile of dung. <laughs> it was no joke, guys. So this is gonna be a messy job. I don't know what I've got myself into here. Um, I've booked in two days for it. Hopefully I can get it done within the two days. You guys will see both the days in this video. Uh, so I thought I'd mention, basically, I'm not gonna be needing any scaffolding, ladders, or anything on this job. I'm using my pole conversion kit. So that's a pressure washing hose going up through an extendable pole. And I'm going to break my neck and my shoulders and my back trying to clean this roof. Um, I'm going to start on that now. I appreciate this might be hard for me to film because it's, you've got bright lights coming through and then a dark coloured roof. So I will speedy time lapse that um, and fast forward through it and then we'll get started on the good stuff, which is these walls. So if you want to take a closer look at these, that is probably a decade of farts and skin and God knows what else. So it was obviously a carry shed before. Kev will be arriving with me later with the second van. He's bringing another machine as well, just so we can get this done in a timely fashion. Um, and I've split the hose in half so he can have half the water supply, so. Right, mask on, face shield on, waterproofs on. Let's clean. I guess you guys couldn't see a single thing of that. Um, it looks it looks great, I can't lie. It's really good. So that, I'll try and get this lightened on the edit guys for you. Um, so you can actually see, but obviously I'm not gonna pay too much attention filming this part now. I'm just gonna blitz through it. I'll put it, I'll put a time lapse camera over there somewhere or something. Uh, look at the size of this place, man, come on. <sighs> that hurt. Not gonna lie, that did hurt quite a bit, but yeah, I'm having fun.
am seriously psyched with that. That looks nuts. Uh, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit, you know what I mean? Because I really actually finished the roof first, but I just couldn't wait. So I'm going to blitz all this. Hopefully Kev will be here by then. He can start doing the floor. I'll start tackling the other side and then, yeah. Man, I am absolutely over the moon with that. It looks brand new. Awesome. extremely painful now i've got to admit that is a lot of uh upward looking for so many hours in a day but last one to go they come up really nice actually don't they um kev's been i mean look at the color of this it looks like blood it's uh nasty so this is sorry probably very windy there this is everything that kev swept out so far yeah i think that's probably the most muck ever off a job before um, we have got to clean all of this at some point as well, but I might come back next week to do that. So that might be a little separate video because um, this is a bit of a job in itself, really. You've got like inches and inches of moss there and stuff, so I'm sure it'll come up great though. Oh, look at that. There's still more to go. Look. My face. Look. This mask has been squeezing my uh, my nose into my face. Um, so yeah, we've just got to watch how it's just dripping all over the place at the moment. If, has anyone ever seen... Uh, 28 days later, is it 28 days later or 28 weeks later? And the guy, it's a zombie thing and the guy looks up and that thing drops in his eye. A um, bit of zombie blood, turns into a zombie. That's what I feel like is gonna happen to me here. Right then folks, day two. So all of this to do and this last bit of roof. Um, yeah, it's really nice coming back on sort of jobs like this. Not that I've done a job like this before, but big jobs when you come back on the second day and you sort of admire the, the work of the day previous. I mean, the wood's all dried out on the bottom. I still need to do some of the wood um, on the beams at the top, um, but I'll do that with Kev foot in the pedal for me, so I don't have to keep moving. But yeah, look at all this. Just looks the business, doesn't it? Absolutely spotless. So we're gonna have like a little run through at the end after we've done all of this um, and the floor and just sort of tidy up any little bits that we've missed. Um, and then that's it. So yeah, the floor will be a bit of a challenge, but I think to be honest, it's gonna come up quite easy because it's so much clean already just from Kev sweeping and squeegeeing it all down. So just gotta try and uh, get rid of all this water. That is a drain there. Oh, I might have to unblock that, eh? Yeah, that's a drain. Oh, oh. block drain. I'll tell you what, if anyone, uh, there we are, look at that. If anybody, needs a good pair of gloves i'd highly recommend these these are wicked um, i've got these from m store um, i'll pop a link in the description for them as well because these gloves are the business yeah there's a drain here i don't want to stick my hand too far in there gosh look 
after that. Yeah, I reckon if we stick something in there, that might. Oh, I don't want it to overflow in the gloves. Yeah, we'll try and prod that through in a bit. Just right down the bar. Yeah, there's a few of them around. They run to like an underneath thing. It channels all the stuff out, doesn't it? That's what it does. Goodness. It might do actually, yeah. It might do. I'll tell you what, it doesn't stink, does it? Nah, I'm surprised. So if anyone was wondering about the smell in here, um I think because it hasn't been used for so long, it just it doesn't stink and there's no like I was expect I was expecting like maggots and stuff and yeah, I was expecting like creepy crawlies everywhere. It's actually been pretty, pretty decent to be honest with you.
All right then, folks, we are... Whoa, they're gonna stay in me. We are done. Um, you probably saw it on the time lapse. There's some sort of stain on this floor, and I was just talking to the um, Trev, the guy that helped me get this job. Um, and we're unsure what it is, to be honest with you. So if anybody knows, I mean, look at it. So you've got clean, clean, perfectly in line with these metal things. It's just bad. So I'm, I'm thinking it looks kind of oily to me. It is a little bit slick compared to the rest of it. That's quite rough and that's quite slick. So I'm, I'm thinking like engine oil or something has leaked on it um, or, or hydraulic oil or something like that. Um, but it is like a perfectly straight line. So I don't know if this could have been like a kind of a garage at some point where they do maintenance on trucks and stuff. But maybe there was on these parts there was like a little office building or something, I don't know, but I see all of this came up really lovely. There's a huge oil stain there. And then um, it just gets worse as it comes down. So yeah, it's uh, perfectly in line with the doors. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking vehicles. I don't know, either way guys, look at that. Obviously it's pouring down with rain. We've just rinsed everything off. So all of this will look lighter. So all the wood is gonna, is gonna lighten up loads. These will dry out, the concrete walls will dry out loads. The floor will dry out loads and look great. But so considering when we first came in here guys, that's not a bad job, is it? I'm very pleased. So, uh, that's not all because we've got outside to do as well. That'll be all for this video. Um, but next week, so look forward to this video. <laughs> oh God. Uh, yeah, that's our mess. So we've got to sort all of our mess out. Um, and they do want to quote for this concrete pad out here. Um, it does span up to where the, near where the road is there. So, yeah, not ideal really. Um, a lot of mess, we're just gonna have to kind of shovel it on the outside, I think. And, uh, yeah, see how it goes. So, but apart from that, folks, we are done. Uh, what is the time? 1:48. So, kind of a short day today, really. Uh, very pleased. Very tired. Soaking wet. But all round, a good fun job. I've actually really enjoyed this. To be honest with you, so I might actually start advertising to do more of these. Uh, it's kind of one of them things. Once you do one, another farmer sees it. So, if you own a farm or you own a barn, you want to clean, let me know because I've loved this. Yeah, have a look at that. Doesn't really get cleaner than that, does it? All right, cheers guys, bye bye.